Hey guys, Commodore Pet here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different from a regular Skywars video here on Jartix Network. I've been asked a lot, like, what are my settings? You know, like, like what mouse do I use? What's my sensitivity? What's my hotkeys? All that sort of stuff. And in today's video, I'm going to basically go through all of that and uh, do a little bit of matches and, uh, you know, talk about how I basically got this sensitivity and, you know, just talk about uh, sensitivities and stuff like that in general. So, yeah, without further ado, I'll first start with my Minecraft settings and then go to my mouse settings. All right, so here are my video settings. Now, all of these are pretty much max because I can handle it. Um, you know, so these things mostly are just personal preference, but one thing I really do want to highlight here is VBOs. You should keep this on. Um, this thing basically boosts your FPS. It's just like a, a, an onboard FPS booster. Uh, make sure to always keep VBOs on because it will help you immensely, especially if you are struggling for FPS. And even if you aren't, you put VBOs on, you're probably going to still see a gain of like 200 FPS. Because that's what happened to me. I saw a gain of 200 FPS. So, you know, make sure you have that on. Alright, now onto controls. So, my sensitivity is 105. I don't use inverted mouse or touchscreen mode or anything like that. And here are all my buttons. So, you know, attack is, you know, the left click. You know, you have, like, all the basic buttons, right? Uh, but my drop button is down arrow. Now, the reason it is down arrow is because when I first started playing Minecraft, I had to use, like, an Apple Magic Mouse. And Minecraft doesn't register the magic mouse as two clicks, since, like, the mouse is actually one physical button, but it's like, if you touch on one side, it counts as, like, a left click, and you touch on the other side, it counts as a right click, but Minecraft doesn't register that, so it only sees it as a left click, right? So, I had to use Q as my button to place, and I changed my drop key to down arrow, um, and I've just kept it there ever since. Now for the hot bars here. Um, I use 1 through 9. I know some people like to use different letters when you get down to here because it's too far to reach, but for me, I can reach and perfectly fine, so, you know, that's uh, good for me because I just use 1 through 9. And then for inventory, E, all the basic stuff, and then you have, like, the lunar menu, all that sort of things. Um, you know, uh, my zoom perspective for Optifine is R, and my toggle perspective, instead of F5, it is F4. Um, and there's really nothing else to talk about here. Um, everything else is pretty good. My sprint button is left control, which is default, and all the other stuff is the same. So my settings are pretty default. They're not like, you know, extra story of settings with like the arrow keys and stuff like that. Uh, but now let's move on to my mouse settings, which is going to be crazy for some of you. Okay. Here is my mouse settings. So I have a Steel Series Sensei Frost Blue Edition. Um, I got this mouse in like 2014. I've had it ever since. I've never changed my mouse or anything like that. So this is the mouse I've been using for everything. Um, I know some people say this mouse sucks for Minecraft PvP, but I'm used to it. So, you know, uh, I'm not saying you have to get this mouse. Get whatever mouse you feel comfortable with. But, uh, you know, this is the mouse that I use. Um, I will be getting a new one because my scroll wheel and stuff is broken on this one. So uh, a new mouse is due for me, but I'll just get probably the same one, but probably not the Frost Blue Edition. But now let's go into my settings here. So these are my mouse settings. Now it's kind of crazy as you can see here with the CPI, which CPI is just another name for DPI. Okay, so I play at 3,690 CPI or DPI, whatever you want to call it. Now this is really high. You know, a lot of people play like 400 or 500. Uh, for me, you know, I can't deal with low sensitivities. Um, and everything that I play, whether it's like PC or uh, like even like mobile games, like COD Mobile, for example, I have a really high sensitivity. Um, so, you know, that's just my personal preference. And, you know, a lot of people like always think I'm hacking because I can turn around so quick. And it's because of my high CPI here. So... Uh, pretty much like I can like flick and turn around in like a split second faster than most people and you know sometimes the animations are messed up where it looks like I'm not actually looking at them as I turn around but basically that's uh, sort of like how it is and why I play it like a high sensitivity because it helps me turn around and it doesn't feel sluggish at all now for this thing right here polling rate 
This, if you have it in your mouse settings, you want to put this up as high as possible, right? The max that mine can go is a thousand. Um, uh, you can go higher in some other programs, and some other mice can go higher, but you want to go as high as possible because this is the like, uh, like the hertz rate that it like sends from your mouse to your computer or something like that. So it's like you want to have like as little delay as possible. You want to have it so it's like right there. So you, for example, if I turn this down. You can see how that's like so big and now my mouse looks weird all over the place, right? But I turn it back up to a thousand, it feels super smooth, right? So you always want to keep that at the highest rate possible, all right? So um, all my buttons here are pretty basic. Um, I don't really have any hotkeys for uh, my side buttons here because I don't really use them uh, other than my side buttons being used for my middle click, uh, but they're just sort of like defaulted to that in Minecraft. I don't have a macro setup or anything like that. Um, so pretty much, yeah, this is my mouse sensitivity. So now we're going to get into a couple of games and sort of talk more about sensitivity itself and what sensitivity you should use on Jartix and other servers. All right, here we are in a Gapple match. So talking about what type of sensitivity you should use on Jartix, for me, I feel like you want a higher sensitivity because of the way the knockback works. Um, in Jartix, a lot of players have, like, 200 ping, like this guy, right? And he's sort of just, like, going through you, and his, like, knockback's gonna be weird. Uh, where he goes is not gonna be consistent, right? And I find that having a higher sensitivity makes us that, say, for example, I'll go and try to straight line this guy, watch what his knockback. See how he goes straight through me right there, right? That's a common occurrence on Jartix because of people's ping. Um... Even though, like, practice is lagging right now because there's, like, what, 175 people online, so that doesn't even help me either um, because it's making everybody's ping fluctuate up and down. Uh, but the thing is that if you are on uh, uh, Jartex, I'd really recommend a higher sensitivity because overall it just helps you out with actually getting combos um, and, and tracking your players, because if somebody goes through you, you want to be able to turn around as quick as possible, especially in a game mode like Sky Wars, where, you know, you don't want to get hit in the back and knocked off the map, so, you know, you always want to keep a higher sensitivity. Now, if you're playing something like, uh, what is it, Lunar or My Men Club, you know, you could go with a lower sensitivity, um, because, you know, your players generally on those type of servers stay in front of you, um, they don't really, uh, like, go through you a lot because of how the knockback works on those servers. They don't have really, like, a high vertical knockback or anything like that, so players aren't going to go through you all the time. And this guy is really having a little bit of trouble hitting me. Um, but yeah, you know, you could go with the lower sensitivity, but I'd recommend keeping one sensitivity across the board. Um, so, like, you know, I use a higher sensitivity uh on everything like if i'm playing on lunar i keep the same sensitivity if i'm playing on uh like jartix i have the same sensitivity everything is always kept at the same uh same sensitivity because it's just easier and you don't have to relearn muscle memory which is a good thing uh good thing to have is have that like muscle memory of your sensitivity so you just sort of already know how far you need to like spin and turn and everything like that without actually having to think about it so i don't really have much more to talk about for my settings it's not like i have an absolute insane like setting change that'll make you better at pvp um overall i find it's just sensitivity um, I find a lot of people, like, really struggle with sensitivity, like, people that I verse on any server, I can find, like, I can find things that it's like, uh, I, I can really see it. Um, I can see that their sensitivity is just too low or too high, right? So you really need to find that sensitivity that works for you. Um, the easiest way to, uh, like, test your sensitivities out is to just hop into a gapple match because you don't really have to do much. All you have to do is just, uh, you know, click and aim and really focus on that. If you are, like, looking to change your sensitivities, wow, I got, like, completely blocked by a block right there. Um, but if you are looking to, like, adjust your sensitivities and some of your settings, I'd recommend playing a gapple match because, uh, you know, that's an easiest thing to keep track of. No things like potions here or, like, rods or anything like that. Um, so, you know, basically just practice in a gapple match, and you don't really have to focus on winning the game, 
just keep practicing with your sensitivity. Now, one more thing before I end off this video, I want to talk about jitter clicking. So say for example, right here, I jitter click, I'm getting about like 16 CPS, maybe 17. I'm gonna try to jitter click against this guy right here. Um, for me, my sensitivity is too high for jitter clicking. Like if I was still gonna go back to jitter clicking, I would lower my sensitivity because it's just too high. And the way I jitter click makes it so that it's just a little bit difficult to aim. Um, so I'm gonna try to jitter click for most of this game here, unless this guy is completely destroying me. But um, you're gonna see how my aim works with jitter clicking. So you can see that my aim is sort of off. Uh, with jitter clicking and regular clicking here you can see that it's a lot more accurate and I can really track so if you are jitter clicking I'd recommend a lower sensitivity because you don't want to be shaking your mouse all over the place right you don't want to have that uh, like a big shake and stuff like that because uh, that can really throw your aim off um, uh, where's this guy going okay, he's over here he's at 180 ping he's kind of fluctuating up and down a little bit so he's a little bit laggy but uh, we should be able to close out this fight soon, hopefully. Um, this guy, if we can stop running, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Look at that delayed knockback right there. You see how he, like, flew back? You know, it would cause, like, if you have, like, a really low ascent, you're going to be flicking your mouse all over the place, right? Um, and that's not something you want. Um, yeah, okay, this guy's hitting my ghost. Yeah, this guy's really laggy. He's, like, hitting my ghost. Um, if you don't know what hitting your ghost is, it's when a player is really laggy, so they see you at, like, over here, but you're actually over here, and they're, like, hitting here, and they're still hitting you. That's called, like, hitting your ghost. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this short video of just going over my sensitivities and stuff like that. Uh, there should be another video in the next two days or so, which is Sky Wars getting uh, 2,800 wins. So be on the lookout for that. But I just wanted to make this video just to sort of get this out of the way. Um, when I have my new mouse, I'll also be doing a mouse cam video. So you can see my sensitivity in action, my aim in action. And uh, probably I'll do some Skywars games. I'll do some practice games in that as well. So yeah, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. And have a great day.